stunning scenery, sledge riding shenanigans, a little bit of history and adorable doggies. This is going to be quite a video. I'm going to let you into a little secret. I always watch my videos on the big TV just to check the quality and my little dog Maisie usually cuddles up to watch with me. Thing is she doesn't like seeing other dogs on the screen. She's going to go bananas when she sees this one. Anyway, I thought huskies were white dogs with striking big eyes, yet most of these dogs possess neither of those attributes. I did get an interesting explanation for that, but I'll come back to that later because I've got so much to tell you first. They're not meant to be that way up, are they? Bit of an accident. We were in Norway visiting the Tromso Vilmark Centre, which translates as Tromso Wilderness Centre. It's an amazing place in beautiful surroundings, as you'll see when we get going on the sled. It's run by a lady called Tove Sorensen, who was set up in 1988 as a home for dogs. She wasn't present on this day, but she was busy taking part in Europe's longest dog sledging race. The Finnmark Sloppet, if that's how you pronounce it, is 1200 kilometers long. That's about 745 miles. Clearly she's quite a special lady. I tried to have a joke with our driver by asking him where the seatbelt was, but I think the funny side got lost in translation somewhere. If I'd really thought about it, I'd have said the lines I've always wanted a reason to say, and that's, feel the rhythm, feel the ride, get on up, it's bobsled time. I called him a driver, but when I was talking about it afterwards with my brother-in-law Kev, he called his one a musher. And I laughed at him because that sounded ridiculous, but actually the joke's on me because that's the correct name for a sledge driver. For once in your life, Kev, you're actually right. <laughs> Now the city of Tromso is actually an island in northern Norway, inside the Arctic Circle. On midsummer's day inside the Arctic Circle, the sun shines right through the night. On the flip side of that, the sun doesn't rise at all on midwinter's day. Actually in the far north they have a couple of months of complete darkness. I'm told there's a Norwegian joke where a detective asks his suspect, where were you on the night of the 10th of December to the 25th of January? It was an amazing experience riding through the wilderness on a sledge and we were really lucky with the weather too. It made me think of a Norwegian expression I've discovered, free luftsliv. It translates literally as free air life and it describes the experience of spending time with the natural world. I will offer anyone who wants to do this trip a little tip though. If you sit in the bottom like I did you'll end up with a wet bum. So if you've watched this whole video and your partner hasn't, their mistake.
the dog myself, I know that you need to make sure they have plenty of water. But if you put a bowl of H2O down for them in sub-zero conditions like this, it's just going to freeze over, isn't it? Luckily though, they have their own answer to this problem. Just eat the snow. It's quite amazing how they do it as they're running along. In fact, they do everything that nature expects them to do as they're running along, which can be a little bit disconcerting when you're sitting as close to the ground and just behind them like I was. There you go, another reason to sit on the top seat. It pays to watch and listen to all of my videos. That's gotta be a good enough reason to subscribe if you haven't already, surely. I'm told that in the early 1900s they discovered gold deposits in Norway and Iceland. Prospectors flocked to the area in the hope of making their fortune. Of course, they all needed sledges and packs of huskies to get around, but there weren't enough for everybody. So they took whatever dogs they could and huskies were bred with these other dogs. Hence we end up with these dogs that the kennel club would probably not call a husky. For me though, any dog that pulls a sledge through the snow is more of a husky than any purebred living in the suburbs of England any day. If you want to see more from my trip to Norway, then I'll link a film in the bottom left hand corner. In the top left hand corner, I'll link a film of beautiful Cornwall. The icon in the bottom right hand corner is the quickest and easiest way for you to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all again on the next one.